everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to show you a really quick video on how to inset a sleeve. So a lot of you may have done this many times before but I just thought if you're new to working with stretch fabrics then you might find this video quite useful. It is quite a quick and easy technique to learn um, and it's just a little tiny bit different to inserting sleeves when you're using a non-stretch fabric so I hope you find this video quite useful. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is just lay out your t-shirt like so. So my neck hole's in the middle. Um, I just need to make sure that the shoulder seam's in the center there and then my arm hole is that gap on the outside. So I'm just gonna leave it this way up, so right sides up. Um, my sleeve piece is a symmetrical sleeve piece, so I'm just gonna fold it right sides together in half. Um, and then once you've folded it perfectly, that halfway point, I'm just going to use my snips to cut a little gap in it um, and this will mark the centre of my sleeve. Um, this is a symmetrical sleeve like I said, um, but on some patterns you might have the little markers on each end. Um, so sometimes there's two on the back and maybe one on the front and then they'll be repeated um, on the actual sleeve pieces. So you just need to line up which one's the front and which one's the back. So all I'm going to do now is find the back of my neckline piece, which is marked by the little seam line on the back. Um, so that's what I know that, that that side's back and that side's front. And then I'm going to lay my sleeve piece over the shoulder seam. So make sure that the seam line is lying towards the back. You just need to make sure that everything is pointing towards that back piece. And that, it just makes it a lot neater and flatter. So that little marker um, that I made, I'm going to lie that right sides together over the shoulder seam and make sure that the marker lies on top of the seam line so that those seams match up perfectly. Um, once you've got this point, you can sort of pin it in place. Um, and then the next thing I always do is line up um, the edges of the sleeves first. Um, so it just makes it easier because if you line the edges up because it's a stretch fabric, you can sort of ease the middles in. So I'm just going to pin the end. Now the inside the actual t-shirt is, you can see, is slightly smaller than the sleeve piece. Um, and this is very, very normal. So like we did with the neckband, you're just going to slightly stretch the t-shirt piece to fit the sleeve. Um, it is a little fiddly, um, but I promise you, if you just do it a little bit at a time and pin it as you go, you will eventually sort of gently ease it into place. So on a lot of non-stretch patterns, um, the sleeves are always a tiny bit bigger and all you do is an ease sort of stitch line. So you might base the very, very edge and then slowly but surely wiggle it into place um, before tacking it again and then sewing it. So this is basically in place of like a gathered easing sleeve stitch. You're just gonna stretch the actual t-shirt to fit the sleeve. So actually it's a lot easier than you may think. So I'm just gonna repeat this on the other side. Make sure everything lines up perfectly. I think the pinning takes like the longest because it's, it's a tiny bit fiddly. Just ease it a little bit by bit. I'm sorry if the camera keeps focusing. I set it to autofocus so I don't have to play with it and I can actually move my hands. <laughs> So there we go. So I'm going to use an overlocker and I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to gently sew it along making sure I follow the curve of the sleeve um, and then place it under um, and make sure that that seam is lying towards the back of my t-shirt because otherwise that's going to sort of like twist and be really really annoying so I just need to make sure that I flatten that out to the back. Um, if you haven't got an um, overlocker just do this with your zigzag stitch um, so that's what I'm going to do now. So 
there we have it. All I've done is overlock those two together, kept it nice and rounded, and then finished off the ends. I just tied my overlocking threads in a knot. And there you go, I've done both sides now. So all I need to do now is fold it up like that and right sides together, pin my sleeves and the sides down and then I just need to hem the bottom and hem the sleeves. So nearly finished and I'm so excited to wear this t-shirt. There we go. My t-shirt is finished. I've hemmed the sleeves and the bottom hem. Um, I'm just absolutely in love with this t-shirt. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, once again, the t-shirt pattern is the peak t-shirt from Wendy Ward's new book, um, Sewing with Knitted Fabrics. Um, and the tropical leaf fabric is like a, I don't want to say it's scuba, but it might be scuba, but it's a textured jersey from Minerva Crafts. Um, I'm not sure if they've got any left actually because it's been really popular. Um, but I hope this video is really useful to you. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you comment down below if you have any questions for me. Um, if you want me to do more sort of quick little tiny tutorials rather than full sew alongs then comment below with something that you'd like me to do. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. I'm really sorry if you can hear all the outside noise, um, someone's drilling through the road or something like that. So I've, I've aimed the camera and microphone away from the window so hopefully you won't hear it too much but it makes a change from us doing noisy building work. But yeah, I really hope you found this video useful and I will see you again next week. Have you handmade everyone? Mm -hmm.